Hello, my name is Joyce J. Scott. I'm a visual and performing artist who lives here in Baltimore, Maryland. When I say I'm a visual artist, I am an artist who employs beadwork in most of the mediums that I work within, but I'm also an artist who uses glass. I'm a printmaker. Now, as a performing artist, I've <coughs> written and performed in a lot of work around the United States, the Caribbean, Europe. I'm also a singer. But I, who comes from one of those classic African-American backgrounds, parents up from the Carolinas, my father picked tobacco in North Carolina, my mother picked cotton in South Carolina, coming farther north to Baltimore, which is still the South, folks. My father worked at Bethlehem Steel, a steel worker, a crane operator. Now, my mother's side of the family are multi-generational craftspeople, so they were potters and weavers and spinners and they cane chairs. My grandfather was a blacksmith. You name it, they did it. This, this desire to be right up front and all into the jam, into the mix, into the jism of the art, that's what I got from them. I do it because it's my best voice. I'm not a politician, but I like to do work that's politically and socially oriented. I'm not a preacher, but I believe that there are ethics and morals in my work. How do I rid myself of my demons and, and, and feel creative? I, I do it by being an artist. I'm not always looking for an emotion. I'm looking for involvement. I want my artists to really feel involved in the artwork that I make and leave with something, whether they agree with me or not, whether they disagree, whether they're befuddled or just angry at the work I do. And trust me, people have told me all these things as well as love the work. I want the work to be something more than eye candy or decoration for a wall from your interior designer. You know, Africa has influenced me greatly because it, it's a country that still takes part in very primal work. They don't have everything made by computers or by machines. They still are doing first-person hands-on artwork, and that's what I do. Africa also has a long, long bead history, and as a bead artist, it's a place that I would look forward to studying at, looking at their artwork. I, I have also traveled to Africa, and it's that thing about being in inspired and influenced and, and getting that spunky, spicy taste from people who look like you, who, who are your font. You know, we're in a culture where for a very long time African Americans were made to believe that we were less because of our, our ethnicity, our progeny, but you know, you find out that we're the actual, the beginning of all races. So. When they open up tombs or they find like bones they usually find a necklace or something that they've tied on to themselves or something that they've adorned attached to their body because they were striving to be creative, that creative impulse or, or force. So that's, that's what art is for me. It is this special breath of life. It's a unique way of breathing. It's, it's truth.